So today I'm going to show you how to make this chasing light countdown timer. I'm not going to show you how to put the, well, I guess I'll show you how to put the numbers and stuff in too. But um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. So if you guys are ready for that, all right, so let's get started, y'all. So today we are going to do the chasing light countdown timer. So we're going to jump into, we're going to just go right now. Just jump into Keynote. And I'm going to show you guys all the parts to get it done. So you want to start with a white presentation. So with a white presentation. Select all the elements on the presentation and delete them. Let me make my icon smaller. That just feels too big to me. Sorry about that. Just being antsy. All right. Um, no, I don't have a tutorial on the opening yet, but I will show you guys how to do that. That was done in Keynote, um, except for my little Memoji head. All the animation was done in Keynote. So I can definitely show you all how to do that also. All right, so let's jump in. Keynote file, start off blank slate. We're going to build two circles. So let's go shape, circle. And drag it to center. And then we'll build a second circle. And let's just change the color of it so we can see it. And we're going to make the second circle almost the same size as the first circle and that's a little bit too close in size let's make it a little smaller that's a decent size all right so you want to build two circles like this right so you have an outer circle and an inner circle now with those two circles done you're going to select both of those circles go to format shapes and lines, subtract shapes, right? So one little thing I want to tell you about this right now is that the outer circle and the inner circle will actually create a line, right? We don't want to do a circle with a stroke around it. We're actually manually building a line, right? So that second circle that you make, the smaller that you make it is, it will make your line thicker if you get what I'm trying to say. So build a first circle, build a second circle, extract the first from the second, and now you have, it looks like a outline of a circle, right? So now we're gonna select that circle, and we're gonna put a gradient fill on that circle. And just pick whatever two colors you want. I'm gonna do a, a yellow and blue, just like that. Right, so now you have your first circle. And now what we have to do is create the animations that makes it look like the light is chasing. So if you follow with me again, you build a large circle, you build another circle that's slightly smaller, and you subtract the shapes of one another, and now it looks like a lined circle, right? Do a gradient fill on that new shape that you created. Now, essentially, you're going to have three of these circles, just like that very first timer that I built. You're going to have three circles. But let's build out the first one, and then we'll do the everything else for the second and third one. So now your first circle, you're going to click it. You're going to go to Animate. Now you're not going to do a build in this time. You're actually just going to do an action. So first circle, click it, click action. So you're under animate action, then add an effect. And you want that effect to be rotate. All right? So now here's where the fun comes in. That actually looks like it's moving around and the lights chasing each other. 
you want to keep it counterclockwise you can do it clockwise or counterclockwise but what you want to make sure you change is you want to change the angle to zero and you can scroll it down or just type in zero I'm scrolling it down so angle equals zero rotations four and you're gonna change your time up to four seconds so basically what you're doing you're saying spin around four times and take one second for every rotation right one last thing you want to make sure that you do is turn off ease in ease out you just want it to be none so the acceleration stays the same and you're gonna counterclockwise turn four times one time per second right and we can preview that and you looks like the light is chasing itself right so the reason why you're doing certain things let me tell you this you want the angle to be zero because you want that color to end where it started and if you pick any angle it's gonna not stop where it started it's gonna be a little bit off and it'll look jumpy when you do everything right so again it's not a build-in it's an action so click the shape pick action rotate you're gonna rotate four times with a zero angle rotation and four seconds and here's another thing make sure right here acceleration none you don't want to do an ease in and out because it'll vibrate right now the next thing you want to do same shape is do a build out for that shape and the build out you want to pick for that shape is dissolve right and I knock that duration down to 0.6 so so far we have one shape that we made from cutting a smaller circle from a bigger circle we did a gradient fill on it we did an action of rotate and now we're doing a build out of dissolve all right so that's where we are right now so that's our first shape and that is the templated animation that we want to do again all right so we have our first shape now and that shape is basically done we just now have to stack up in the build order how we want it to do so first shape is done we're going to click that shape or even better go to the object list remember if you set up your keynote watch my video about how to set up your keynote to prepare it for animation um, you want to open up your object list and you can click the shape in the object list Apple C Apple V copy paste all right and now let's line them back up and you'll see them snap when you drag it so let's call shape one let's just call it uh, by triple clicking or double click on it blue yellow all right and now our second shape which you know what yeah hold on let's call it red green and guess what we're gonna color it red green but now let's drag that shape up to the top just so we can see it right and that shape is clicked in our object list it's on top so now we're going to go back to format gradient fill and let's pick two more colors let's pick I don't know let's pick bright red and a green right so now we have a blue yellow circle and a red green circle so you should be with me so far now they're out of order but that's okay we put the the second circle on top so we could colorize it right so now we have a red green circle we have a blue yellow circle what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the blue yellow blue yellow circle in our object list copy C I mean Apple C Apple V copy paste that one and we're going to drag it so it lines up with everything else right so now we have a blue yellow a red green and a blue yellow right so here's the thing we should do right now so blue yellow red green blue yellow all three of these circles have the same animation and the same build out because we copied it from that first one that we did right so now what we want to do 
before we do anything else, let's click on the, the bottom blue yellow. And we can stick a two on that. Blue yellow two. So the blue yellow two, we're gonna click on that one. And let's go to the animate bar. Go to animate, and we're gonna click on build order here at the bottom. So now we can see all of our animations. And let's just drag that somewhere where we can see it. And that's why you wanna name them, because otherwise it would just say shape, 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 right? So you want to make sure that you actually name them something. So let's click on blue yellow number two, which is on the bottom. And now they've been highlighted. Let's click them now again while they're highlighted. So click blue yellow to rotate. We're gonna delete that. They're gonna click blue yellow dissolve. We're gonna delete that. So basically all we did now for that third circle on the bottom is turn off all the animations because it doesn't need animations. The third circle should be a static circle, right? So here we go. We got blue yellow. If you click them again over here, now you'll see. If I click blue yellow, you'll see animations happening. You click red green, you see animations happening. That lets you know you're doing the right thing. All right. So now in the build order window, we need to change the order of things and we need to change when they come in and come out. And then we are wrapped up as far as the circular running uh, colors are concerned. So you want to go to blue, yellow, rotate and drag it to the top. Then you want to do blue, yellow, shape, blue, yellow, dissolve, I'm sorry, and drag it right into the box that says blue, yellow, right? You want to drag red, green, rotate into the box that says blue, yellow, dissolve. And you want to drag in red, green, dissolve into the box that says red, green, rotate. So just drag them into each other. And that's how you want them stacked. Blue, yellow, rotate, blue, yellow, dissolve, red, green, rotate, red, green, dissolve. Right? So that's the order you need. Let's go to the first one in build order, blue, yellow, rotate. And down here where it says you want it to start, you're gonna say after transition. So that basically means after the slide comes up, the rotation starts. That's all that means. So as soon as the transition happens, the rotation starts. The next blue yellow, we're gonna make it say after build number one. So after all the rotations are done, it dissolves out, right? So that one's good. The first red green rotate, we're gonna tell that one to go with build number two. So essentially what's happening is this. Rotation, blue, yellow happens. The rotation stops, blue, yellow dissolves. While it's dissolving, the red, green starts rotating. That's all that means when it says with number two, right? And then finally, red, green dissolve, we're gonna say after build number three. So now let's do a quick preview of that. Let me move this window out of the way. And then we can see a quick preview of those animations running. We're gonna go down to preview and you'll see them running, dissolve, red, dissolve, then it stops with yellow. And let's run them one more time so you can see them. Preview, rotate four times, dissolves, while that's dissolving, the other one is rotating, dissolves, the last blue one stays home, right? So that is the counter animation. I've already showed you guys how to do the, the outer rings and all that kind of stuff and make them transparent. So I really just wanted to show you that animation loop. So now we're gonna bring this actual file into Keynote and show you that it's working. But the first thing we wanna do is now click on the slide in your slide tray Go to format, and we're gonna go color fill, no color fill. So now we have just made this slide transparent, right? Then we're gonna to go to file, export to, movie, zero before, zero after, resolution, custom, 
Apple ProRes, export with transparent backgrounds. Don't ever forget that. Hit next. We're going to save this to desktop and we're going to call it Color Chase. Export. All right. So now we're going to go back to Ecamm Live. And let me look for this file on my desktop. Color Chase Move. And I'm going to show you that it just kind of goes through one time and then stops to show you what we actually built in Keynote. So you saw a blue rotation, you saw a red rotation, and now the blue rotation stops. And I always want to make sure that everything looks seamless. That's why I always do those third rings and do the ins and outs because we want to rotate it, but we don't want it to look like it's skipping. So when you mouse over this overlay, click the down arrow and you want to click loop. All right. So now let's play it again. Rotation. When a rotation in, it fades out. Green rotation. Red fades out. There we go. So that is the color chasing wheel. And I'll just let it keep rolling while, while we're here together and you'll see um, that it's fairly seamless how it works out, right? And so you see the colors rolling. We go from yellow to blue to red to green, back to yellow to blue to get you started. And there we go, right? So hopefully um, this was pretty easy for you guys to figure out. Um, I have some other timers that I'm countdown timers that I'm working on and I'm probably going to release these as a set of four or five or do them separately. Um, but as of right now, I have this timer. I have the generic timer. I showed you how to do the first time I have a pulse out timer. And so it's, um, so it's just another timer option. As you can tell, there's no edges. There's no transparent black in front of it those things are generic right i've already showed you guys how to do those things but this is the animation portion of the um the counter so hopefully that works out for you all and you know what let's jump back let me turn this off and we'll jump back into keynote one more time just to show you the animation parts so here are the two things. We have three rings, the blue, yellow in front, the red, green in middle, and the blue, yellow two at the bottom. The blue, yellow on top animates and dissolves. The red, green animates and dissolves. The last blue, yellow doesn't do anything but sit there. Then in your build order, rotate, dissolve, rotate, dissolve, right? And that's essentially it. So that is the color chasing um, counter, countdown timer. And now we'll go back into Ecamm and I'll show it to you in action one more time. The color chase wheel that's automatically looping. And there you have it. So thank you all for coming out. Hopefully this was helpful and I want you all to have a great time doing these things. All right, so until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.